Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to show you how to install Phantom ROM version 11 on your um, Samsung Galaxy Note 2 N7100. You can use the same method on uh, almost all the Phantom ROMs. Here is the XD link of the Phantom ROM. Uh, you can get it from the video description below. So look at the page and look for the download link. So here is the download island. You can either click on here or you have to go down and you can find here random ROM download link. So look for the latest one that is 11.0. We are under okay. So here are the 11.0 versions. The first one is Mega Link, then the one OneDrive link, and then Google Drive link. Depending on your concern, you can download from any of them. And if you want the uh, root access, you have to download this super user super su update also so you can see i already downloaded those files so now i'm going to copy these files to my note 2 so here i just connected my note 2 you can see here so i'm going to copy this one and then go to sd card i'll copy to some folders like roms okay i'll paste it here Okay, here you can see I copied those two files to my Note 2. Here is Phantom and then here is Super SU. So now I'm going to restart my phone to TWRP Recovery. If you didn't install TWRP Recovery, you can find the link below. It will show you how to install TWRP Recovery on your Note 2. <coughs> so to get enter into TWRP Recovery, you have to press volume up home button and then power button at the same time press and hold it until this logo comes then it release and you can see it loading the TWRP recovery this team in okay I'm using the version uh, 2.8 which is the latest version so first you better go and uh, do a Android backup in case if something goes wrong you can restore it later so next go and wipe factory reset so it will wipe cache delivery cache better so that is done so go back and then click on install then search for the ROM file that we just downloaded it's in external SD card so ROM file here you can see the fandom version 11 select it and then swipe it to confirm so here you can see the aroma installer loaded so here you can install so click next then I continue with a fandom rom there is an option to take your EFS backup so continue with the random uh, phantom rom so do a full wipe if you are not coming from uh, previous phantom so next then install phantom rom you can also choose install only if you want to install apps only so i'll go with install then here is a bloatware application you can select whatever applications you want like i'm going to select dropbox flipboard my files and then okay next then again select google apps like chrome gmail google drive maps plus then hangouts that's it next then here is the widgets if i want to select i i don't want any widgets so i'll go next so here is the s5 apps to choose from i don't think i want anything so I'll skip. I'll select S5 boot animation next. I'll select S5 gallery next. S5 sounds also next. I'll select H5556. This one is actually S5 launcher type. You can select. You can select any of them. I'll go with this one for now. So here is the system UI if I want to like I will go with the S5 system UI 
and then sound boost I'll go with ultra ultra volume rather than install so it started installing it will take some time please be patient So you can see the installation is completed so click next and then reboot your device so the boot animation is showing just remember that the first boot will take some time to load because it has to load that create that Dalby cache. Okay, now finally the installation settings with these things. So I'll go with this one and uh, I will configure this Wi Fi later, even the Google account. And then uh, your name, Dropbox, device name, and it asks for what kind of uh, launcher I want. I will go with HV's Home, I make it always. So here you can see and the new ROM is loaded. So if you go to the settings, out you can see I'm running on uh, Phantom ROM 11 which is based on F uh, FN I1 and it is 4.4.2 just remember that this is not this is not rooted so if you want to have root access just reboot to recovery and then you need to flash that so press you zip I'll show you So it's loading the TWRP recovery. So just go and then ROM folder here. Update super SU. Just confirm it. So it will root it. So after that, just reboot the system. So after the system reboots, you will have a rooted fandom ROM version 11. That's it. Just enjoy the ROM. It's, it's a good ROM. You can check the uh, review video below the video description. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.